Hey friends, I'm gonna give you guys a moment to log in here. So we're gonna do a relationship reality check discussion and I want to, hello beautiful friends, how are you? So you guys wanna hear something cool. So how are you? I haven't been on in a little while. I've been so crazy busy, but good stuff, but also crazy stuff. So I wanted to share with you kind of a personal share, right? Everybody's going through this metamorphosis. We're going through an energetic cellular shift and everyone's like, what does that mean, Don? Like DNA, cellular, who gives a shit, right? Like if you can't put words or understanding to it, it doesn't do you any good to know that you're shifting. Who cares if you're shifting? We can all feel it, right? So <clears throat> the reason I say that is, is I've been going through it too, and major changes in my life, I'm moving and changing and changing my company and publishing new books. And, and so I kind of had this revelation of going back and I started reading my own book, Drum Detox, right? So I'm going to, I was, I was reading parts of it. I was like, I need to start sharing with you guys kind of some things that I learn even from myself. And because when we go through these hard times, and you start healing, hearing like teachers and those who are inspiring us and someone's inspiring you, but they haven't been through it. Oh, I've been through it. I've been through it all, which is why someone would be, you know, I would be drawn to write a book about drama, right? Because I'm anti-drama. So I find it fascinating with all the drama going on in the planet that's been happening for, you know, the last many, well, it's been going on forever, right? Drama is so juicy. People love drama. And so when I bring up detox, what's happening is on Monday. So I want you guys to all tap in. If you are not signed up for Truth Drive, go into my link in my bio and sign up for Truth Drive. It's a free sign up because I'm going to talk about what's going on in the shift that you're all feeling. You're feeling partnership I and me shifts, I and we, sorry. And so partnerships are coming up for us, either the work you've been doing on them to make them better or how you interact with them or the work you want to do and that you haven't done. And so I'm going to talk about the north and the south, the nodes and the new moon and the grand cross. And it's all astrological, but it's really not. It's all energy that's dealing with drama. So I'm going to read you this, right? I'm going to read you this little tip. So the whole book is about how how we make our own drama, right? You get the life you tolerate. You have the life you accept. Anybody who knows me knows this, right? I've been through it all just like you have, um, thick and thin, tough times. And what we don't realize is we are tolerating all this bullshit until you just stop. So anything you're looking at, focusing on, creating in your life, you are there because you're creating it. So when I was going through the book, I was laughing because I was moving and I wanted to share some of my book um, information and I realized I packed everything except for this one book. So this is the book you guys were obviously supposed to hear right now, given that we're all going through drama. And so it's basically all these chapters. And then at the end, I have the 12 chapters and the 12 tips that you get from each chapter. So I'm just going to read you tip number one. And tip number one was start detoxing your life, i.e. I call it drama stew. Start detoxing your life stew today. So I'm going to think about the pot of stew you've all made, that you've created, that you've accepted. The most important step in getting rid of drama is personal awareness. The fastest way to clean our own house is becoming aware that it needs to be clean. Often we are just used to situations, so we miss the need to clean it. What areas of your life could use a cleanse? Think about it. What areas would you be able to label as having drama in them? Start to evaluate them. That's what's coming up for everyone on the planet right now. You all are starting to evaluate, I don't want that BS in my life anymore. I don't like that drama anymore. And so this is why everyone is getting so tripped up. It's going to get more intense. If it doesn't, the we's, whoever we are in your life, um, relationships, friendships, partnerships, 
um, companies, whatever partnership relationships you have in your life, it'll be more potent in your personal chart. So if you don't know your birth chart, you can go onto my website, <clears throat> IDeserveItNow.com, go to tools and you can get a free birth chart and see where Libra is in your chart. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you know that, but you know what drama and what relationships are causing drama. And you've created that stew. You probably have cooked that stew. You keep eating the same drama stew and you're not clearing out the recipe so you can make a stew that you like with the people, with the environments, with the situations. We are going to get drawn to our tribe. So you're all going to start asking yourselves, who's my tribe? And I'm gonna share this because this all came up for me because for a long time, I was weird. I thought I was weird. I didn't fit in. I didn't have a lot of friends that got me and connected to me. And, and this isn't about astrology. This isn't about the planets. You all know, I don't believe the planets do anything to us. You know that I believe that the planets are just waves of energy that you can either ride the wave or you can drown. And you're frustrated and you're mad and you get pulled under and you feel like you have to come back up for air. So my point being is that right now you're all going to get face to face with some sort of relationship drama. And it's gonna ask you, does this relationship, whoever they are, it might be your relationship with something toxic or energy or experience that you're having. Does this relationship breathe life into me or drain me? That's what I've been going through. And I've looked at my company, I've been in a company review, right? In a, in a a productivity review and I've been looking and, and resetting all of my company's deliveries uh, deliverables and how am I showing the world like does this serve me does this breathe life into me or is this just draining me so at the end of the day if you aren't looking at your own drama that you've created people read this book and it's funny because I go back this like over 10 years ago that I wrote this and we're on book number six right now Mastering Badassery, by the way, if you want Mastery Badassery, um, you can get a preview sneak peek of it. You get to get chapter per chapter. Um, a little behind on one couple of the chapters right now, but Warrior Pass on my website, if you just sign up for Warrior Pass, you get, um, you get a weekly chapter that's sent to you before it gets live published. So it's digital published. Um, but the point being is that I go back and I look at all this energy and all the drama and all my personal life that I've accepted, that I have tolerated. And I realized that I created that drama and I kept eating that stew and I kept making the stew because that's what I learned from my family and my ancestors. And that's just how we always did it. Well, that's not how you're gonna do it anymore. And you're feeling this change. And so in about two weeks, you're gonna feel it completely click. And when it clicks, get ready. And anybody on this call, those of you who want to raise your hand, that's, that's something I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and make a comment in the comments um, if you're feeling this, that you're going through the who am I and who am I, you know, the I and the we, the we and the me phase, because you're already feeling it and it's turning. And when this energy opens up, the whole planet's going to go through the who are the we, who are my tribes, who are the, who's the one tribe, who is my social connection. And so you're gonna go through this, who am I within this group collective? And what's gonna happen is, is because it's Aquarian energy that we've moved into, Aquarius is a sign of detachment, independence, freedom. So if you can't be independent and free with who you are, and then step into that communal, tribal connection of community that you establish for yourself because they're energetically drawn to you or you're drawn to them. You have to stay you within the collective groups that you are in. So find your tribe, clear out the drama. It's gonna keep pushing you to do it. So if you don't do it willingly, it's gonna get pulled from you. And when it gets pulled from you, you're gonna have to refill that, that spot because it's asking you, your body, your soul, your DNA knows there's a better way. So you guys can get all of my books, FYI, Drama Detox, on my website or just go to amazon.com. Um, but there's some good stuff in here. I haven't read my own books in a while because like I said, it's one of my first books that I've published. But I thought it was a super good tip and I was, it's 
fascinating and why I brought it up was because I've been through a lot of BS, you guys. I've been weird, I've been different, I've stood out in life, and I've realized that when I didn't fit in, it was to help you all know right now, you don't fit in to a lot of these old partnerships, relationships, and, and communities, and situations, and environments that you're in. You don't fit into them anymore. And I'm here to tell you, good. Get the hell out of that environment. Get the hell out of that situation. It's okay because the planets are gonna push you to do it anyway. The universe is gonna push you to do it. It's just up to you to do it with a temper tantrum or the smile on your face and go, I choose me to be at the highest degree of my consciousness state, of my ascension. Who are you? Go learn who you are. I bring this up at getting a free birth chart on my website. Go do the chart. At the bottom, it gives you a description of every aspect of your life. A mini description. You can go, yep, that's me. Yep, that's my challenge. Yep, that's my gift. Know yourself. Know you. If you don't know who you are, I guarantee you're going to struggle with this next evolution of change. And it is asking you to detox the drama. And once you do that, it pulls you back into you and it gets you back into center. And once you get there, watch all the magic appear. Watch all the universal channeling coming right through you and dropping into your lap and gifting you all the blessings and all the meditations and all the manifestation that you've been working on. Instead of coming into this narrow minded focus, like an hourglass and all this universal spiritual truth is up here and you're narrow minded and then you have all this base down here of, of 3D physicality, that narrow mindedness opens up and all those blessings channel through into you. Drama detox, that's what's gonna ask. Again, I was asking myself, okay, what do I need right now? And that was drawn to me. So I'm gonna start sharing some more personals. I've been through it all. There's nothing you guys haven't been through, I haven't been through. And I have compassion, I get it. But I'm gonna leave you with this one note. I believe in you. I believe in you. Why do I believe in you? Because I know you can do it. Because if I could get through all these challenges in my lifetime, twice knocking on heaven's door, twice knocking on death's door, twice I had to fight for coming back to this reality. Divorce, uh, kids, illness, sicknesses, relationships, marriage, you name it, career, being at rock bottom. And it all came down to this. The drama I accepted in my life was the drama that was revealing itself in my external reality. Stop accepting the external drama bullshit. Anything outside of you, if it does not serve your highest good and create manifestation, it's not for you. And it's time to clear it and detox it. And all you have to do is say, does this breathe life into me and into the reality I want to live? And if it doesn't, that's the detox. Just walk away. Just be quiet. Just go within and figure out who you are and stay there. And I promise it gets really good from there. So I'll see you guys on Monday. Drama, or sorry, Truth Tribe. We're gonna talk about the North Node, the new moon, partnerships, your independence, your becoming more self, self-valued, raising your worthiness, and living a life you deserve for the first time. And it's gonna push you into that, into that new quadrant of your life, which might get uncomfortable for a lot of you because we don't know how to live abundant without all this pressure and pain and suffering. It's very uncomfortable for a lot of people. I get it, it was for me too. So I'll see you guys on Monday. I'll see you in Truth Tribe. If you're not in, go hop on my website. Like I said, it's an easy sign up. And I'll see you on Monday at Truth Tribe, six o'clock Pacific time. And you guys have an awesome weekend. I love you, brightest blessings. Take care.